In this video, we're going to look at how to convert between metric units for capacity. Here we've got some examples of metric units for capacity. You've got milliliters, so if you're measuring something in the kitchen, uh, or for, for instance, a can of juice. Small bottles of juice would also be measured in milliliters. Larger bottles would be liters, and then bigger containers, uh, such as the sink and so on, would be liters, fish tanks, that type of thing, liters. Um, then here we've got a rucksack. A rucksack is also measured in liters. That's the capacity of it. Okay, so let's go how to convert between them. So some of the common ones are milliliters to liters. Remember that the word milli means thousandth. So that means that a milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. So to convert between milliliters to liters, you would divide by a thousand. So for instance, 8,000 milliliters divided by a thousand would be eight liters. And likewise, to convert between uh, liters to milliliters, you would times by a thousand. So if you had four liters times a thousand, that would be 4,000 milliliters. Some of the ones you may see are milliliters and centiliters. So to convert between milli, which means a milli member is a thousandth, and a centi is a hundredth of a, a liter. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to divide by 10 to go from a milliliter to a centiliter. And conversely, to go from centiliters to milliliters, you would times by 10. So for instance, if you had 23 centiliters, that would be 230 milliliters. And then to go back again, you would divide by 10. Let's look at some examples. So here we've got to convert three liters into milliliters. So three liters, to go from liters to milliliters, you times by a thousand. So it'd be three times 1,000, which would be equal to 3,000 milliliters. Next, convert 0.8 liters into milliliters. So you go from liters to milliliters, remember, times by a thousand. So we've got 0.8 times by 1,000. So whenever you times 0.8 by a thousand, the decimal place three times, eight, eighty, eight hundred. So that's would be eight hundred milliliters. Okay? Now let's look at how to convert between milliliters to liters. So convert seven thousand milliliters into liters. So to go from milliliters to liters you divide by a thousand. So we're gonna do seven thousand milliliters divided by one thousand is equal to seven liters. And finally, let's convert 3,250 milliliters into liters. So to go from milliliters to liters, you divide by 1,000. So 3,250 divided by 1,000, that would be 1, 2, 3, that would be 3.25 liters. Okay? And finally, let's look at converting some milliliters into centiliters and vice versa. So convert 33 centiliters into milliliters. So to go from centiliters to milliliters, you times by 10. So we're going to do 33 times 10, well that would be 330 milliliters. Convert five centiliters into milliliters. To go from centiliters to milliliters, you times by 10. It's going to be five times 10, that's equal to 50. So the answer would be 50 milliliters. Convert 500 milliliters into centiliters. So to go from milliliters to centiliters, you divide by 10, so it's going to be 500 divided by 10, well that's going to be equal to 50 centiliters. And finally, convert 3,250 milliliters into centiliters. Again, to go from milliliters to centiliters, you divide by 10. So that's 3,250 divided by 10, well that's going to be 325 centiliters. And that's it.